Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover uh, builder design pattern implementation using animal toys example. Before you watch this video tutorial, please log into my channel and watch builder design pattern introduction, builder design pattern class diagram, builder design pattern sequence diagram video tutorials. Then come and watch this tutorial so that you will understand this tutorial very clearly. Okay. Now we will see uh, in which scenario we can use uh, builder design pattern. Suppose say I want to create the uh, dog toy. Okay. So this uh, dog toy is nothing but a complex object. So what I have to do to uh, create this uh, dog toy is I have to use uh, small small parts like uh, head part of uh, dog toy, body part of uh, dog toy, leg part of uh, dog toy and uh, tail part of uh, dog toy. So using this uh, small small parts I can uh, construct the uh, complex uh, dog toy. Okay. So here uh, this head, body, leg and uh, tail part of uh, dog toy are called uh, simple objects and uh, this uh, dog toy is called a uh, complex object. Okay. And I can define a generic process of uh, uh, creating the dog toy like first step is uh, build the head, second step is uh, build the body, third step is build the arms, fourth step is uh, build the legs fifth step is uh, build the tail okay so i can uh, i can specify some uh, generic process and i can name it as uh, animal toy builder so using this uh, generic process i can uh, prepare the dog toys okay and also using this uh, same generic process i can prepare any kind of toys like lion toy elephant toy and monkey toys etc so the process is same only thing is uh, this parts will be different like head, head, body, arms, legs and tail will be different for uh, different ties. Okay. And uh, okay. Uh, now we will see the class diagram of uh, this scenario. Okay. Uh, this is the class diagram of the scenario which you have just seen and uh, down you can see animal toy class so animal toy can be anything like uh, it can be a dog toy or it can be lion toy or it can be monkey toy right so what i have done is uh, the common attributes of uh, animal toys i have put it in this uh, class like uh, animal toy head animal toy body animal toy arms animal toy legs animal toy tail so all those property I have put it in this class and uh, it has uh, setter and getter methods for uh, these properties. Okay. And uh, top you can see animal type builder which is abstract uh, class. And uh, this animal type builder uh, defines what and all steps we have to follow in order to create the animal type. So it has all those steps. Okay. And uh, Lion tie builder, monkey tie builder, and uh, dog tie builder, uh, which are concrete classes and which extends uh, this animal tie builder abstract class. Okay, and it provide implementation of uh, build animal head, build animal body, build animal legs, build animal arms, build animal tail. So all these uh, abstract methods are implemented in this uh, concrete classes. Okay and uh, here you can see a uh, toy maker class and it has a make toy method and uh, it accept a parameter toy type uh, toy type can be dog lion or uh, monkey okay so this client class will uh, use this make toy method uh, to get the uh, lion toy or monkey toy or dog toy okay suppose if you pass uh, uh, a toy type as lion then uh, this toy maker will use uh, lion toy builder to build the uh, lion toy okay and if you pass uh, monkey then uh, this toy maker will use uh, monkey toy builder to prepare the monkey toy okay like that if you pass uh, die type as uh, dog then it will use uh, uh, dog toy builder uh, to get the dog toy okay so this is the class diagram of uh, uh, 
the scenario which we have just seen. Uh, now we will see the code. I will open Eclipse and I will show it to you. Open Eclipse. Uh, now we will see the code. So if you see this uh, class diagram, the important class is animal type class, right? So I will open animal type class in Eclipse and I will explain. So this is animal type class and I have put together all the common attributes related to animal type. Like animal type head, animal type body, animal type arms, animal type legs, animal type tail. Okay. And also it has setter and getter methods for all these attributes. You can see it here. And uh, next important class is uh, animal type uh, builder, which is uh, abstract class. And uh, it defines what and all steps we have to follow uh, to create the animal ties. Okay, you'll see that. So, this is animal type builder uh, class, which is abstract class. And uh, it defines what and all steps we have to follow in order to create the animal type. So this build animal type method is a template method okay. and it has uh, uh, different uh, abstract methods. Uh, these methods will be implemented by the subclasses like uh, build animal head, build animal body, build animal legs, build animal arms, build animal tail and uh, set animal tie name etc. Okay. And uh, next important classes are uh, concrete classes, uh, lion tie builder, monkey tie builder, uh, dog tie builder. So this uh, three concrete classes uh, extends uh, animal tie builder, okay, which is uh, abstract class and provide implementation of uh, this build animal head, build animal body, build animal legs, uh, build animal arms, build animal uh, tails. Uh, methods okay so these methods are abstract method in uh, animal type builder so this uh, line type builder monkey type builder and uh, dog type builder will provide implementation of uh, those methods okay so i'll open that concrete classes and i will show it show to you so this uh, dog type builder which extends uh, animal uh, type builder and you can see it provide implementation of uh, the abstract methods uh, which are there in the animal type builder. Okay. And uh, same like uh, line type builder which extends uh, animal type builder and uh, provide implementation of uh, the abstract methods like uh, build animal head, build animal body, build animal legs, build animal arms uh, and uh, set animal tie name okay and uh, so like uh, monkey tie builder also extends animal tie builder and uh, provide implementation of uh, the abstract methods in the animal tie builder like uh, build animal head build animal body build animal legs build animal arms and setting the tie name okay and uh, next important class is Tie maker. So this is the tie maker class, and it has uh, make tie method. It accepts uh, tie type as a parameter, and it returns uh, animal tie. Okay. And uh, if uh, we are passing uh, tie type as uh, lion, then it will use uh, lion tie builder, and it will build the uh, lion tie, and it will return to the color. Suppose uh, tie type is dog, then it will use the dog tie builder and uh, it will build the dog tie and it will return dog tie to the color. Uh, suppose if uh, tie type is monkey, uh, then it will use uh, monkey tie builder and it will build the monkey tie and it will return to the color. Okay. So builder client uh, which use uh, tie maker to build the ties. Okay. Uh, so first step, uh, what I am doing is I am trying to create the lion tie and uh, second I am trying to create the dog tie, third I am trying to create the monkey tie. So I will run the program, uh, you can see the output. So 
So first I try to create the line tie, right? So you can see output. Line head has uh, been built. Uh, line body has been built. Line legs has been built. Uh, line doesn't have arms, uh, so the arms construction is skipped. And uh, line tail has been built. So finally we got the uh, line tie. Okay. Same thing for uh, dock. So dock head has been built. Dock body has been built. Dock leg has been built. And uh, step four is arms uh, that is skipped because uh, dock doesn't have arms. And step five is uh, dock tail has been built. And finally we got the dock tie. And uh, for monkey, uh, monkey head has been built. Monkey body has been uh, built. Monkey leg has been built. Monkey arms has been built. Monkey tail has been built. Finally, uh, we got the monkey toy. Okay. So, this is the best example of uh, builder design pattern. I hope uh, you understood uh, builder design pattern implementation clearly. And I have put together all this sample code in my blog called RamJT. You can uh, just visit this site uh, to get the sample code. Also, all the key points related to builder design pattern, I have uh, uh, put it in this uh, blog. You can uh, visit this blog and uh, you can read the key points. And uh, this is about builder design pattern implementation. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.